Hi everybody, Heather Stargazer here to do a reading for the sign of Capricorn for the month of September. Hey Gabbies, hope you guys are doing okay. Um, this month we're going to be using, we're going to get a rune for you, a Futhark rune, a little training. Um, we've got the Patch Tarot out, we've got the Kabbalistic Tarot, we've got the Karma cards to get us some perspective and some sacred geometry activation cards, and then at the end we'll get a letter or a message from the Messiah's Handbook. We also have the um, the Tea Leaf Oracle out if we need to get some deets, and um, I, we probably will. So um, ancestors, spirits, guys, what messages do you have for lovely, beautiful Capricorns? For the month of September. Oh, Birkana, I love it. It's so beautiful. Growth, new beginnings. You know, and I was just thinking in my head while I was doing this that we're in an earth sign right now. We're in the sign of Virgo, um, which is very, very, very nice for you guys because you are the... Um, cardinal earth and that's uh like this is like a, a really great time for you to activate and for you to be um putting things i just saw one 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 putting things together for your next big endeavor and here it is in the upright birth uh growth the birch tree the rune of life process, another of the cycle runes, Burkana denotes that form of fertility which promotes growth both symbolically and actually. The growth may occur in affairs of the world, money matters, one relationship to oneself, or the divine. This is the leading to rune in that it leads to the blossoming and riping. What is called for here is going into things deeply with care and awareness. Burkana is concerned with the power of influence development and with the flow of beings into their new forms. This action is gentle and penetrating and pervasive. First, disperse resistance, then accomplish the work. For this to happen, your will must be clear and controlled. In regard to the issue, your motives must be correct. Any dark corners should be cleansed. This must be carried out diligently and sometimes with expert help. Modesty, patience, fairness, and generosity are called for here. Do you possess these virtues? Once resistance is dispersed and rectify, rectification carried out and seen to hold firm, then through steadfastness and right attitude, the blossoming can occur. Beautiful. There's so keep that page. New growth, new beginnings, and there's a rabbit, and there was, um, there was some things to do with rabbits in the uh, today's it was like two rabbits um, on the Two of Pentacles card in today's daily reading. And it's just this carryover. Um, I was feeling a lot of earth energy. And I know it was coming from, um, you know, doing cardinal earth reading today. Just feeling you guys feeling your energies and it's feeling it, it's like it's not this aggravated feeling but it's kind of like almost like an impatience like you're pushing yourselves to get something done and there's um it's just not happening fast enough for you which is really odd because usually earth energy is happy to move slowly but it's like you have i feel it feels like you have other tasks in mind like other steps that need to be taken to keep this process of whatever it is that you're growing moving doing keep it going moving along and um those steps are taking maybe longer than you had expected them to but all good things come good things come to those who wait right and all good things that take time um they, they retain their value longer so you understand this and you're willing to take this take this time what do we have here Ooh, the emperor aries energy i'm gonna move all these all these cards are facing the same direction so um the taking control of your situation building that structure right the aeon advance Shin, this is the judgment card. Ooh, six of wands, victory, eight of cups, queen of wands, and the star. Wow, why are you so worried? That's that feeling that I was getting. Why, why are nine of nine of swords on the on the bottom here? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful things are happening for you right now. You got a lot of Aries energy out. I'm just gonna say that that's cardinal fire right which is kind of which is a 90 degree angle to your square to you and so aries and um capricorn sometimes ha butt heads in the way that the approach is made both are cardinal both want to move forward quickly um but like i said capricorn is an earth energy it's slow and steady wins the race really looking at all the things and maintaining within the constrictions and confines right following the rules in order to get something done that is solid aries energy is kind of just like ah, just 
pioneering, right? Moving out forward, not not uh, necessarily considering confines because Aries doesn't really see them in that same sense. Like we build the structures up and we, I say we because I'm Aries, we know what um, belongs within that structure and we both enjoy uh, Capricorn and Aries both enjoy uh, the fact that there is a structure there. We want to build it and put the space, in, it, it, take take charge of where that structure belongs. And you guys want to implement what's happening within it. And that right now it's calling for you to set the set the parameters for your own foundations. Take charge. Be the leader in your own life. Be your boss. Be your own boss here. This could. Um, you know, this could be a boss-like figure, but I really feel like it's you taking charge of your life and deciding that maybe there's something else that you want to move forward towards. Like you have things around you that are great. Everything's, you know, fine in some realms. Maybe there are some things that are lacking, but I think that your focus right now, from what I'm seeing on the board, it looks like your focus right now is future forward. Again, that what are you building and these steps that it takes to actually get there. That could be why you're so um, stressed out about this, but don't be. Because your new beginning is here, that growth and rebirth process. And Eight of Cups is moving toward your fulfillment, moving towards that, that wish that you have, that thing that makes you happy. And you could have to um, re-examine a few things about this. There's completions that are happening. There are things that are coming up from the past um, within yourself and on the exterior that are asking you to re-examine them so that when you go on to the new new, what's coming with you? What isn't going with you? What have you learned? What do we need to make a judgment call on? This is your call to action and your call to your your soul tribe, your soul purpose, right? Getting there. And it, again, you are in charge. You are in charge of that. And there's why I say this Aries energy coming out because here we have the queen of wands again. This could be someone else in your exterior. This could be you magnetic, attractive, beautiful, right? And the person who um, makes their ideas manifest, who who puts on the artistic show here, whether that be in um, like an actual painting, whether it be singing, whether it be a dance, whether it be you just putting forward your creativity, your your product that you've been working on here, right? And, and it, attracting others. And again, this could be someone else that's returning to your life and you're making a judgment call. Is this person here to help me or to um, hold me back? And I really think that this energy is here to help you because you get the six of the Six of Wands victory being celebrated. Look, they're throwing a parade for this person. He's come back from battle and he has won victoriously and everyone is celebrating him, right? Victory. But then, And then underneath that, you get the star. I'm telling you, um, whatever it is that you're working on is going to be seen, appreciated, and valued. It's like, it's like, um, you took charge of your, your life. You took charge of this situation. You decide what uh, stays, what goes, what the parameters are, right? You, you put the structure down for this. The big boss energy said, I'm going toward it. This is my call. This is my call to life, my call to action. Is this person you? Is this person someone else? Right, And they're here to help you move this forward and it is going to be extremely successful. I heard accolades, I heard rewards. Right. They're coming, they're coming to celebrate you. And it's very, very healing. And it puts you in a space where you can now go toward the next thing, go toward your new direction. This Burkana, this re rebirth, right? The growth is here. What a beautiful month for you. Please. Please don't worry. Please don't let those thoughts creep into your head. Right? It was like this. And then there's the hermit card underneath. Two nines so close to being there. And this is the time. Now is the time that Virgo energy looking within and really getting down to earth. I love this. Can you tell us about this emperor, please? Oh, the world in reverse. Look at that. Because things aren't completed yet. That's what you're moving towards here. That's what you're moving towards here. And, and maybe this hasn't been brought out into the world yet, right? The cycle hasn't been completed yet. And that's what you're on your way to do. We're really looking at that. Like, am I going to get what I need from this situation, from where it is that I'm standing right now? And you're realizing that probably not. You're going to have to move. You're going to, and I don't necessarily move. Maybe you are moving, but I mean, take action. 
right? Take action towards going. This is relinquish. Yeah, you might have to leave something behind so that you can get to what it is that you want to accomplish here. What is this? Look at that. It's the tree of life and it's in reverse. This is the Kabbalistic tarot. Okay, and it comes with this tree of life and it's like you aren't being fulfilled where you are. It isn't going to take you to the level that you'd like to be taken to. It isn't going to fulfill your soul's purpose. You have to progress. You have to move forward. Otherwise, you're stifling your own energy. You're stifling your own growth. You're making yourself um, live in a space that isn't fulfilling to you. you know, that This isn't my world. That's what I heard. This isn't my world. What am I doing here? Look at this. The tower is shocking. Okay? It's shocking to you, you might, that you have to like go forward right? Leave, leave this mindset, leave this emotional space behind and move forward because something has to be changed here. The, the tower and the emperor, both Aries energy, right? This is Aries and Scorpio. Talk about that moving into a different space here. Here is Saturn and Capricorn or, um, Saturn in Pisces, Saturn is your ruling planet in a space where it can't think clearly, it can't decipher between what is above water, what is below water, what is my emotional feeling here, and it's causing a lot of trouble in your um, foundational self, and you're seeing that, and that's probably the propellant for this, for this change. What is this eon about? The two, five of coins, and the magician, right? Mm -hmm. leaving things out that drain you of your power that drain you of your resources that are um, manipulative right we get the five of pentacles out i always say um, it's that being left out in the cold cart and i always say if you are uh, not welcome at a table that is not the table for you if a door is closed on you it's because that's not the room that you're supposed to be in don't think of it as they're closing it closing you out of the space think of it as them letting you know that that's not the space for you be grateful and walk on to find your own room because this space magician in the reverse is going to drain your ability to manifest it's going to drain your resources it's going to drain your power right and then maybe use may use your resources power and abilities for things that keep them in place keep keep their structure in place but do nothing for you right it's your power take it back that's what you're doing here emperor energy here you're taking back your own power Sorry, I don't know if that made a noise. I touched the mic cord. Very, 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 very interesting. Queen of Wands and then the Hermit in the reverse. You don't have to do this alone. And there could be things that you are unaware of that this person brings to light, right? With methodologies, ways of doing things, sources of inspiration, you know, um, those kinds of things. Maybe things that aren't within your, your soul psyche quite yet. And this person will bring them to help illuminate them and teach you in those ways and show you how to um, attract, you know, the, the, the power of attraction, of manifestation sitting in it and letting it come to you and as a as a cardinal sign you want to go out and get after it even if you're chipping away at it slowly a little bit at a time and this person's like wait maybe you don't see that light within yourself quite yet that you can just have them come to you 1333 and so you aren't doing this alone by any means you have help and it's very fun help it's somebody that's very enjoyable to work with and to be around Right? Brings that light back into the space. And that's how you get this victory. What does this tell me about this victory? Woo! Woo! Seven of Swords, Queen of Cups. And then again, that with that feeling of that emotional, emotional manipulation. I heard, feel your way. Like, I keep hearing this Grease song this week. Feel your way. Loving, kind, emotionally supportive, psychic energy right really showing you where those um those strategies to keep to keep you back magician in the reverse five of coins you're leaving deceptive energy out in the cold right and it's maybe somebody um again this this is the space that it wants us to occupy it wants you as capricorn to occupy both these queen energies queen of wands and queen of cups 
but they could also be external people to you. And this could be somebody who lovingly comes through to show you what is actually happening in the background. You feel it. Whether this person is actually straight out, show, like, hey, did you see this thing that was happening over here? Or if they just tell you something in a way that's emotionally supportive that allows you to reflect back and see something in a different perspective. Seven of Swords. Right. There is definitely something going on in the background, again, with that tower, again, with that magician in reverse, again, with the world in reverse, a cycle that isn't changing somewhere else and through emotionally loving support. Right Through intuition and using psychic guidance within yourself, you are realizing what is the truth and what isn't the truth and what strategies need to be implemented in order for you to reach this victory. And like I said, you're going to be celebrated. Others are going to, outside of you, are going to not only see what you do, but man, are they going to appreciate it. I heard, damn, that was appreciated. So you might even hear somebody say that to you like, damn, you did it. Thank you. Thank you, Cappies. Whew. Now you're the star. Now we're feeling that star Aquarius energy, right? They share your ruling planet with you. Out into the community, the growth and progress. Six of Wands again. Victory! Victory! And here's Temperance. <laughs> <laughs> maintaining that balance, maintaining that equilibrium. Here's Sagittarius energy. You got a lot of fire on the board helping you out. You got a lot of fire on the board helping you out. Um, keeping yourself in check, right? So that you don't slide back into this space so that those, those anxieties and those feelings don't take you over. Um, don't think too hard on this. Don't, don't overthink it right? Follow your intuition, follow your gut, and know that there are people around you who do love you and support you and want your manifestations to come through for you. You are going to be seen out in the world. This is all healing. The star and the temperance card, so much healing. It's so much balance brought to you, through you, and by you into this successful space. Oh, so happy for you, Cappies. What's on the bottom here? Mm. Justice in the reverse. Mm. The karmic imbalance. And that's why you're heading for this new growth, right? We start with a space. You know, there could be an injustice that's happening in the background, and there might not be a lot that you can do about that right at this moment directly for that for that injustice, the seven of wands in or seven of swords in the reverse tower energy. You know, there is something manipulative and negative going on behind the scenes. Um somewhere else. It doesn't want you to focus on resolving that. It wants you to focus on moving through into a new space, following your call, your soul's purpose, um, and, and giving yourself a little leeway, giving yourself a little time. Um, it's almost like you, you leaving that behind because you know that that's, you're not going to be able to change that. You're not going to make a, an impact there. And you're also not going to be able to progress into the, the new, new of the project that you're working on, the, the, whatever it might be project, relationship, work, home, take it how it resonates. But um, you you understand that if you want to accomplish your goals, you're going to have to do that um, independent of this negative energy, independent of this place, right? Because it's draining on you. And so you're moving forward and you're catching the attention of people who really appreciate it, really appreciate that you did that um, or that you're doing this. Um, and it's it's uh, bringing bringing I heard a love and light. It's bringing a lot of love and light back into the space, not just for you, not just for you. So good job. Don't lose your patience here. Don't lose your patience. Do we have any um, details that you want to tell Capricorn Valley? Deep personal strength and peace that assures success. Stay grounded. Right. Anything else from this pile? Key successful outcome to your problems beautiful yes victory and success is headed your way for sure and you know why because you're doing it you are bringing the success and victory to you and they're bringing the community around you these people around you appreciate you they're bringing the celebration just enjoy right it says success again a success assured with good plans and hard work all all three of these cards say success all all three 
Okay, and this one says, seek out information that will help you. And I think you know that already. We were just kind of talking about that. <laughs> what? Success. Success. And on the bottom, this one says, ah, arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. Mm-hmm. You know who that is. You know who that is. And so you should not cross them. Well, then just walk away. Let them, let them continue to dig their own hole. Let them run around in circles until they've, you know, wore the ground out from underneath of them. You are leaving. You are headed on a different direction, right? Cain, pay attention to your health. Mm -hmm. Don't let this, don't let this get into your body. Don't let your don't let your thoughts creep down into your into your physical self here. Again, with that Queen of Cups and this Star and Temperance, is all this healing on the on the back end of this. All right, allow it, accept it. What does this say? Will great worry over nothing. Great worry over nothing. Don't worry about it. Because financial gain usually coming from something that you did in the past because you are on your way to success. So don't spend your time and energy on the worry. Spend your time and energy on the growth. What does this say? A long journey, elephant, a long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser at the end. I love that. Karma cards, mind, mental, Spiritual, physical realm. Things to consider. Houses and planets. Sixth house. As a full, which is the house we're in right now, Virgo, right? As a full-time job in the, in the spiritual plane, serving and do a little at a time. Again, service to others. What you're doing is appreciated a little bit at a time. That feeling that we had at the very beginning of this reading where it was like, I would like for this task to get me done so that I can move on to the next one, please. You know, taking taking the time for each individual step that's necessary, right? Because it's in service. It's in service of others. It says as a full-time job. It, it, this is definitely occupying your entire mental space, all of your time, all of your, all of your efforts. And, um, we, the universe, your guides, spirit wants to make sure that you're focusing all of that wonderful Capricornian energy into the right thing, into the right direction, which is the new, new moving forward. And Capricorn, here you are showing up in your own reading. What's it say? Your goals. What is your goal for this? Two, 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 two. What is your goal for this? What is What is your intention behind it? The day to day reality of. Yep, moving through. We have to, your world, right? The world that is, the cycle that is not completing is going to stay this way until you decide and um, take the, the, the emotional steps to move forward towards your new goals and your new wishes and your new dreams, 2244. Use the most business-like way and, right? Being professional has talked about both these, that a full-time job and your business, a business like way to do something so stay in your professional self here and then again with more pisces energy your dreams because this is what your soul purpose is this is what you're being called to right your idealization of what how would it be perfect if you had it perfect all right and then realize that perfection isn't real but know how you would like to see it right name it say it out loud so that you know what it is that you're creating for yourself. You're going to be very successful in that. Be a part of something overwhelming and absolutely the star six of wands twice and temperance card. Yeah, beautiful. Definitely overwhelming with gratitude. I'm feeling overwhelmed with gratitude, overwhelmed with appreciation for you, for your I heard audacious steps. Well, good job, Cappies. Really showing out, showing up. Beautiful. Remembrance. Mm. And heart chakra. There we go. Queen of Wands energy. Woof. Woof. It says the frequency of remembrance supports our ability, um, supports our memory of everything that we have gone through as a soul and body, providing us with valuable information and tools to flow gracefully with and in this life. Everything you've learned up to this point has, has brought you here. Okay, and everything that you're doing now will facilitate the growth in the future. Remember where you came from, good and bad. Remember where you came from so that you can embody the growth that you are that you are 
bringing to the world so that the rest of us can grow too through you by you with you right the frequency of the heart chakra the green flower of life supports our capacity to love deeply and unconditionally its healing properties harmonize the mind and the body back into that heart space queen of cups energy here okay whatever it is that you're going through or that you're accomplishing or doing in this in this month right in the next whenever you're seeing this it's going to you're going to feel so much better at the end it's, it's like there's like a party at the end for you all right let's get a um messiah's handbook what does it say Ooh, life does not require you to be consistent cruel patient helpful angry rational thoughtless loving rash open-minded neurotic careful rigid tolerant wasteful rich downtrodden gentle sick considerate funny stupid healthy greedy beautiful lazy responsive foolish sharing pressured intimate hedonistic industrious manipulative insightful capricious wise selfish kind or sacrificed Life does, however, require you to feel the consequences of your choices. Mm -hmm. What if all these levels inside you are your friends and they know a lot more than you know? What if your teachers are right here right now? Instead of always talking, what if for a change you listen? Oof. Thank you, spirit. I hope that was helpful. Thank you so much for being here, Capricorn. Thank you for remembering to hit the like and subscribe buttons because it really does help and I really do appreciate it. And thank you for coming back and seeing us again next time. Wishing you all the best this September. Bye.